All right, so we're going to do a little piece of kata here. So first we're going to need to figure out new class, so press space. Put this in factors plus. And I said factors plus. Then in here we need a test. here so then goes to and then also then we need factors.get uh, and then we'll just approve that patch we're going to need this times factors and so I'm going to put my minus there and we're also going to need uh, just so we can see that a little bit easier let's put that in there all right and this is going to return a list it's going to be a list of integers okay. so let's return one of these at a time so we can create that Instantiate that. And then we need to add. And that really should be called uh, number. Okay, and that should work. So let's see it run. Great, so one properly run. So now we got that working, let's pull it out. So we'll make a for loop here. So it has the plus equals and it is a integer thing. Make sure we instantiate that correctly. And let's go set up the turn. So set up the turn. We need to make that dynamic. See how that looks for us. All right. Uh, so first of all, you can see it's all in one line. It's hard to see, so let's add some new line breaks. And okay, so do what we want, but you can see here at four, it's not avoiding error. So let's go in here and do a for loop. And good. Don't have to worry before two. So we'll just start there up the number and if number is divisible by this which means it's going to be divided by that equals zero then we can divide the number by that and we can do the same thing we did here that and see how it goes. Now we're doing better but you can see down here at 8 we're still not splitting its multiple times so to handle that we're just going to have to step back once to allow it or step back once to allow it and it's looking pretty good. Let's just push it a little bit higher. Uh, let's go up to 30 and see how that looks. It looks stand there, it looks good. So we'll approve it. And there's your prime factors.